I think, uh, a pipe dream. But for Iran, it's a momentous loss for Iran on the battlefields of Syria. General Hossein Hamdani, a top commander of Iran's Revolutionary Guard, killed by ISIS, according to an Iranian news agency. It's significant in that it's, it shows, once again, the commitment uh, of the Guard Corps to these operations. It's significant because uh, members of the Guard Corps are in harm's way. Uh, so that has possible political repercussions back home. A U.S. intelligence official tells CNN Hamdani's death is a psychological blow to forces in Syria fighting for Bashar al-Assad. For nearly four years, Iranian commanders have been deep inside Syrian military operations. Iran admits having advisors on the ground, but denies having any troops in Syria, as some media outlets report. Analysts say Hamdani knew Iran's strategy in Syria from A to Z. He was a right-hand man to General Qasem Soleimani, the shadowy leader of the Revolutionary Guard's elite Quds Force. Soleimani, considered the overlord of Iran's campaign to save Assad, is reported to have made a crucial trip to Moscow in July. I suspect he went up there to confirm all the details of Russia's entrance into the Syrian war. In addition to helping pull the Russians in, Soleimani and the Iranians have mobilized fighters from Hezbollah, considered a terrorist group by the U.S., to fight ISIS, and have given new life to Assad's decimated army. This mosaic of forces uh, backed by Iran, Russia, uh, and the Assad regime and Hezbollah, now they are all so much more involved than the United States. This tells us that the Iranians and the Russians will back up Bashar al-Assad to the bitter end. So any notion that they're going to cut Assad loose somehow as part of a diplomatic agreement is, I think, uh, a pipe dream. But for Iran, it's starting to come with a heavy price tag. We see the funeral announcements all the time of Guard members who are perishing in Syria. So the losses for the Guard Corps uh, are increasing. And with Hossein Hamdani's death, at least three top Iranian generals have now been killed in the fight against ISIS. A U.S. intelligence official tells us Iran's expanding role in this conflict is going to put more Iranian lives at risk to support a failed dictator, something this intelligence official says Russia should keep in mind as well.